so emerald is still in the same position just zoom in for you guys she hasn't moved i mean you know at least i tried that <sighs> i'm gonna lock this again let's make sure it's locked <sighs> so i think what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off my makeup. <laughs> it is now 2.49 a.m. <sighs> okay, so let's just talk a bit. So since it is almost 3 a.m., it's like 10 minutes to, I just changed into my pajamas. I just think, you know, I just walked around the fourth and third floor. I mean, maybe I caught some EVPs that could be, I'm sorry, I, I'm probably going to be so ugly, but I just don't even care. I just need to take my makeup off. It's been on all day. But I might have, you know, I'm really excited to check my footage when I get back. And, you know, the spirit box section, ugh, section. I'm getting kind of tired, but I'm not like super tired, which is good. But I don't know, even if I don't really fall asleep, but I'll set my alarm maybe for like, 45 minutes to an hour and then I can you know record myself and see if anything did happen but even if I'm not really sleeping and my eyes are just closed then maybe it will have the same effect and maybe the ghosts will come out <laughs> I just want like the craziest stuff to happen and I'm really happy with you know what I'm doing this whole series that I'm doing it's something I've always wanted to do is there garbage in here oh something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to do an investigation by myself, but I never want people thinking like, oh, you're ditching Jonathan. Oh, you're ditching like your friends. No, <laughs> I'm not doing that at all. It's just, this is what I've always wanted to do. I've wanted to, you know, just not just be on my own. And I don't know. I don't feel threatened at all, but I just find it so interesting how so many people and the reviews are saying like how hard it has been for them to sleep here and it's just you have this like anxious feeling almost i don't feel anxious at all and you know i have anxiety issues i don't know i don't feel nauseous i don't have a headache i brought my advil um oh my god my lips i need to use my jeffree star lip scrub <laughs> now i gotta actually wash my skin because makeup wipes, you gotta do more than makeup wipes. I look like shit. <laughs> Whatever though. So I just took off my makeup. So if my face is really red, it's because that's what happens when I wash my face. Anytime I touch my face, my face gets so red. Like I hate it so much. You always see these people washing their faces and their faces look so perfect after. Mine's always red and it takes a while for it to be back to normal. But I have like acne scars all over my skin too. It's awful. But so I'm gonna put emerald back up on the table over there and i'm gonna put my night vision camera by the tv and it's gonna face me and hopefully like this is the main area where things happen so hopefully we'll catch something on my camera let me just get the battery i need to get a new battery so so it is now 3 14 all of these fours and all day i've been seeing fours like all day like i woke up at 9 and then i remember looking at the time and it was 9 44 then it was 10 44 then 11 44 i've been seeing fours all day i looked at the time when it was four o'clock today when it was 4 44 today like it's just crazy so it is now 3 14 <laughs> there's always a four i also saw a 404 today so um yeah so i'm gonna put my camera up there and i'm gonna set my alarm until four <laughs> so i'll wake up at four wake me up at 4 a.m setting okay i set an alarm for 4 a.m thank you you're most certainly welcome okay and then i'm gonna charge it i'm gonna turn off this camera this bed looks so comfy by the way so let's see if anything grabs me Seeing this on like I caught this on camera. You know those little videos you always see where 
I look like one of those spirits. Can you imagine seeing that? Like, look at my eyes. Like, I look like a demon, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. That's really creepy. Imagine seeing you standing in the blue bed. That is, like, the scariest thing ever.
Dare number three. Roam around the third and fourth floor. Between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. is when the majority of paranormal activity occurs in the hallways. Children running and laughing, loud unexplained crashes, lights flickering, and apparitions have been spotted. Holy shit.
Are you out in the hallway? Are you the one making those noises? I really want to know that you're here. If you can just please make your presence known. Do something in my room, please. I've been waiting for you. So, down the hallway, there's that staircase that's blocked off. And it's so dark. I had my flashlight. I was thinking of walking down there and just looking in to see. What time is breakfast, by the way? Seven to 10, okay. <laughs> I love how I'm thinking about food. Um, I don't know, guys. This has been such a weird night. It's crazy, though, and I, I can't get over how calm I am. flashlight is so freaking bright. I don't know, should I go over there? Okay, let's go. I'm gonna grab my key. I hope I see something. Let's just go. What time is it though? back into our room guys oh man the person's alarm is still beeping you can hear it from here it was coming from room 411, unless, I mean, it's another alarm or something, I don't know. 
it's still going. So that person's alarm is still going. Like, is there anyone staying in room 411? Like I told you guys, I don't know how many people are on the fourth floor. <sighs> I'm just sitting here. I feel like I'm like Liam Neeson or something, just waiting to strike. If there's anybody in this room with me, can you please open up the closet door, make a, a knocking sound? Is there somebody in this room with me that wants to speak with me? Please make any movements, touch me, come sit in this chair with me, walk on through me, anything. The alarm is still going, so odd. So I highly doubt someone is in that room. <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird. Good morning, guys. Oh my God, so I just got back from breakfast. I still look like crap, I have no makeup on. <laughs> I mean, excuse that, guys, and I'm just like breaking out a bit of hair. I'm so red in my face. So, and I just put on a yellow dress so I look somewhat, you know, presentable when I go down for breakfast. I mean, this is like a classy place and I didn't wanna go down in my pajamas or anything or the same outfit from yesterday. But um, um, the breakfast was so good. And I was talking to a couple of the ladies there and who work here and they were telling me some of the craziest stories. I was like, oh my God, like I wanna put this in my video. So out of respect, I can't show them on camera and I can't say their names, but you girls know who you are. They subscribed to me actually, it was really funny. <laughs> One of the girls, she gave me her phone and she's like type in your name and then she's like, I just subscribed and she showed me. So thank you so much for subscribing. And then the other girl, she subscribed as well. So it was, it was really cool. Was like we're gonna be watching. So I told them when the first video goes up and I said, it'll either be like a two-parter or a three-parter. So they were just telling me some of the experiences that they've had and some of the, you know, the really haunted rooms. So they know about 414, they know about the fourth floor and stuff and that odor that people smell. I never smelled that odor. I smelled scrambled eggs this morning. You guys, if you saw my my clip, I was, it smelled like scrambled eggs, but I think because breakfast was like an hour, I think it was after six o'clock when I started smelling that and breakfast is at seven. So one of the girls, I believe it was room 306, she was in there and one of the doors I believe opened and then slammed shut and nobody was in there and she heard almost like a grunting or something at another time but when she saw the door open and then slam shut she ran like she was so scared of that and another girl she told me about something so horrific that happened like so it's just so awful um about three years ago, there was a guest, I won't even say the room number for this one, but there was a guest that committed suicide. And you know, that happens at hotels and that's really sad and she actually had to find the person. So when she was telling me this, I was like, oh my God, like, you know, that's, that would scar me for life, you know? And I'm, I'm sure she's pretty scarred from that. But she said like ever since that happened, that room, that's my phone. That room has just been really messed up and the bathroom in there because it happened in the bathroom. Um, it, there's just been really crazy stuff that's happened in there. So she's also seen an apparition that looked like a man. Um, she's seen a lot of stuff. <laughs> like they have some of the crazy stories and just the fact that it's a part of the job. Like before you get hired, they warn you about things and they told me that so many people have quit because of the ghosts and the manager apparently doesn't believe he doesn't care like whether you believe or not you know it's kind of up to you so but he personally doesn't believe which is fine you know I respect that but he just kind of says to the workers and people who come here like it's up to you whether you believe or not and a lot of people have had experiences here um, in the breakfast room actually it was so pretty a lot of activity happens there chairs get thrown across the room they get like flipped over and it's it seems to be very active in there so i'm definitely coming back to the marshall house definitely i'm definitely coming back i i just had this was such a cool experience just coming to like the most haunted hotel in savannah georgia and they were telling me about other places that i should definitely stay overnight at um 
and they asked me about like the Bonaventure Cemetery. So I was like, girl, you know, I know Gracie Watson. I know Corinne Elliott Lawton. Like, I love those stories. And I told them I love Savannah. Like, it's just, this is one of my favorite places. It makes me so happy. I just love walking around River Street. I just, you know, I live for it. So they were just so cool about the paranormal experiences and the front desk, the lady at the front desk, she saw me, cause she saw me walking around last night and she was just laughing every time she saw me. She's like, you are so crazy, but like in a good way. And she's like, you look so young for somebody who stays up all the time so late looking for ghosts. And I said, yeah, you know, but I love it. Who is texting me? <laughs> I just said I love it and you know I think I had a successful investigation. Um, it was creepy but I wasn't as freaked out as I thought I could be since I was by myself and I have like nowhere to run really. I have nowhere to go to you know so I mean I guess I could have ran to the lobby if I was so scared but girl I do not run away this girl pretty 44 I run towards the spirit so and especially being in this bathtub I mean that's where I am right now is the bathroom I'm sitting on the ledge of the bathtub and hearing my name being you know said through the spirit box again what is up with that and then hearing that high you know and I'm so excited to look over my night vision footage when I was sleeping I might actually take an hour nap um check out is not till 11 and it's it's not even 8 o'clock. I think it's like 7.50 in the morning right now. So I think I might take a little nap. Anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this whole series, Birdie 44 is Fear. I just, you know, I was really inspired by MTV's Fear. It was a show I grew up with and it was so much fun just, you know, kind of living it, even though it wasn't really MTV's Fear. It was my own version, but it was something I always wanted to do. So obviously, girl, I won because I never run away. I would totally win that show. They need to bring it back and they need to have me on it. <laughs> that would be awesome. But anyways, guys, I will go now. Thank you so much for watching. I can't believe I look like, oh, I look awful. Oh my God. I look rough, girl. Like I look rough, but whatever. It was so worth it. Oh, I can't wait to come back. So I'm just going to enjoy my next, my last few hours, go to the gift shop and, um, you know, my boyfriend's picking me up soon. <laughs> anyways, guys, I will go now. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics of Michael Jackson. Hashtag team pretty 44. Hashtag Barbara Hey. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.